looking from the start of the season till now, how would you say you have progressed in your role on this defense? Yeah, you know, I think um, starting just from last spring, I think I tried to be more of a vocal guy because, uh, you know, after you know, last year, my retro freshman year, I was just a guy who was, you know, listening to the, the captains and uh, doing my job. But, you know, now I try to, you know, first lead by um, example and then lead with my, uh, with my voice a little bit now. So it's a, it's a fun little... You know, it's different for me. I'm a, more of a quiet guy, but it's uh, it's fun to you know yell and you know try to lead these guys too. So sure. And obviously this week, a lot has been talked about with injuries. Mm -hmm. As someone who has experienced that first, yeah. Game, what were some emotions that you went through at the beginning of the season when you had to sit out a game? Oh, it was tough. You know, especially you know going to Lambeau Field and uh, them, the guys playing LSU. I think uh, it was really hard. You know, it was a game that I had circled on my calendar for a really long time. Um, so it was tough not to you know play in that game but I'm um, you know I got back in a couple games after that and that's all I can really be you know happy for so sure did you give any advice to either Chris or to Jack yeah know? uh you know I think both of those guys it's, it's really hard you know we're, we're so close and it's hard for them to go down season ending injuries you know Citrus having fantastic gear you know um so it's you know it's tough you, know, you just try to be positive you know you try to be there for those guys when they can um you know we're still they're still going to be part of you know the process you know the um you know, leading up to the game, so they'll still be right in our ear the whole time, but uh, they just won't be on the field with us. So, Sharon, that's kind of a follow-up question. How, how do these guys remain active members yeah. of the team? Yeah, you know, I think both of them do a really good job of being in meetings. Chris is trying to take over like a, a coach role. Uh, we don't ever call him coach. He wants us to, but uh, he's trying to be, you know, really, he really, does a really good job of being in our ear on the sidelines. Uh, just talking about what he sees, and I know Sitch will be the same way. Uh, so it'll be it'll be good to have those guys. And on and off the field, what is the dynamic like between the whole linebacking unit here? Uh, I think inside linebackers, I think we're generally really close. Um, you know, and as, you know, with uh, outside, I think they have their own little personalities and styles. Uh, so I think it's fun. You know, when we all come together, everyone brings a little bit uh, different to the table. So it's uh, it's kind of fun to be around all those guys. We have a really good chemistry though overall. So it's kind of it's fun to have. Is there a good one word that describes this linebacking unit? Um, I'd say I'd say dependable. I think that's what we strive to do every day, and I think that's uh, what we've been doing for a good couple games. So. Sure. And then final question: Looking ahead mm -hmm. to this weekend, what are some of the greatest strengths of this Nebraska offense? I think they do a really good job of uh, you know so they have two offenses. They have a pro style offense and they have a the quarterback run, you know, RPO kind of thing. And their quarterback is you know their main focal point. He's uh, he's really good when the play breaks down, and he's really good, does a really good job of making something explosive happen. So we're gonna try to limit that. Uh, you know, they're they're gonna be really fundamentally sound. So it's just gonna be a good challenge for us. But we're we're excited for it. All right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm.